Previously on Dan for Mayor. Hi, Dan. By the way, I'm getting married to Mike. Wow. Yeah, I got news too. Um, I'm running for mayor. I'm Bud Calgrove. I'm running for re-election as mayor. Mm, Bud is unbeatable. Good night, Mr. Mayor. Oh my God, I really am going to be mayor. Bud Calgrove, mayor of Wessex, dead at 53. I can't believe now, I'm going to be mayor. Hold on, we don't know that for sure. There were two candidates. One of them got hit by a bus. Did I get hit by a bus? No. This is looking pretty good for me. It's just weird. He was only 53. Oh, 53. In the Middle Ages, he'd already have had a long life. In the Middle Ages, he wouldn't be hit by a bus. He could have been hit by a cart. It'd have to be booking. A boat? Anyway, I think I'm mayor. Are you ready for this, Dan? Are you really ready? Not now, okay? Yeah, Al. Shouldn't you be grieving or something? Leave Dan alone. Sorry, I just wanted to know if he was ready to be mayor. I didn't mean to upset anyone. Mayor's twin brothers always creeped me out. Yeah. Bad day. But Calgrove was far too young a man. Yeah, for modern times, but uh, not in the Middle Ages. Hey, still, it's a tragedy. Yes. You know, he was hoping to get some of those hybrid buses. I think he would have preferred to be killed by one of those. Yeah, that would be more ecological. Anyway, Wessex needs a leader, and as deputy mayor, I'm in charge. Right, until we take over. Well, that's why I wanted to talk to you. Uh, there's a city council meeting coming up, and I'd like you to attend. Ah, I get it. Address the troops kind of thing. Yeah, to drop out of the race. Oh. And if I drop out of the race, how do I get to be mayor? Oh, you don't. Right. Okay, pretend for a moment that I'm not following this. Sad about the mayor getting killed. Let it go. It happened yesterday. Let it go. I've got big news. You're shaving off your mustache? No, the rake factory's shutting down. What's wrong with my mustache? Nothing. I, I like your mustache. It's shutting down? Robinson Rakes? Yeah, I just got word they're shutting down local operations and moving to Mexico. I think you don't like my mustache. No, I, it's nice. In a um, cowboy rodeo kind of way. Rodeo? Like gay rodeo? The rake factory employs a lot of people. This is bad for the city. This is bad for business. I supply them. I thought it was more of like the cop mustache. Cowboy, cop, they're all part of the village people. <laughs> so what purpose is served by Dan quitting? Other than I don't have to come down here in the middle of the day for this sort of meeting? Well, the city charter says uh, if you drop out, we can open up the election to a full field of candidates. You know, real candidates. I'm a real candidate, right, Jeff? I, you're the only candidate. Thanks. Well, I'm not quitting. Okay, let me try this scenario. Please. No. Okay. Didn't want to have to do this. You're not going to like it. What? I'm going to check your paperwork. Somehow I'm not scared. Well, you should be. One mistake and you're out. Uh, yeah. You do what you do and I'll do what I do. But what I'm going to do is be mayor. Because I'm alive... And he's dead. Unless I get hit by a bus, and I normally cross at corners. Y you know, we, we were friends in high school, so, um, yeah. So Dan's gonna be mayor, no matter what? Dan's gonna be mayor? What are you talking about? Dan's running for mayor. Remember? We all had drinks and toasted them? I remember drinking. Anyway, looks like Dan's a shoe in and there's nothing anybody can do about it. You're his campaign manager. You don't seem happy. Uh, I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm his friend, so I think it's a good idea. What do you think? I'm his friend, too, so sure. Good idea. Yeah, so we both think it's a good idea. 
Hey, guys. Hey, Dan. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. That was a long haul, but I entered the race, and now here I am. Hey, listen. I was thinking about what that guy said. Which guy? The uh, mayor's little helper guy. The deputy mayor? Yeah. We got to make sure we did this paperwork right. Oh, doing paperwork's not really my thing. I could copy it. I could copy the hell out of it. It's got to be ironclad. Better than ironclad. Laser proof. We need somebody who deals with documents every day. No, I'm not doing it. Okay. Let me try this scenario. Please. Tell Mr. Robinson he's got to meet with me directly. This is a big order to cancel. Thank you. Oh, the rake factory shutting down is killing me. This is so like Dan. He assumes everything is about himself. He's completely oblivious. That is annoying. Dan just assumes he can give me a bunch of work and I'll do it. You are doing it. That's not the point. Maybe it is. I'm just glad you're with me now. So am I. Anyways, Dan shouldn't assume he's going to be mayor. I checked the bylaws. Dan could lose. To Bud? He's dead. He's still on the ballot. Bud wins, the deputy mayor becomes mayor. Well, that's great. You have to tell Alan. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't even told Dan. Yet. Hey, Alan. Come here. You gotta listen to this. <laughs>